How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for biochemistry slash molecular bio for step one. Not going to be a lengthy clip. I will just run through exactly what we need to know and not waste our time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. And let's start the clip. So... 32-year-old man, he has recurrent episodes of bronchitis and sinusitis throughout life, cardiac exam, shows a point of maximal impulse at the fourth intercostal space on the right. There's a large mass palpable beneath the costal margin on the left. Uh, endoscopy, spelled this wrong. I'm not going to restart the whole fucking clip right now, uh, just to change this endoscopy uh, spelling. Shows nasal polyps, which the following is the most likely explanation for these findings. Let's just whip through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Choice F, paroxysm, wrong fucking answer. I mean, the yieldness, non-existent on Yosemite. Maybe one question on all of the NBMEs combined uh, for step one. We have 30 NBMEs, maybe one or two questions tops, okay? So extremely long fatty acids, branch chain fatty acid degradation, okay? You've got some weird syndromes, uh, Zellweger syndrome, adrenal leukodystrophy, uh, Refsum disease, fancy sounding diagnoses, complete nonsense, Complete garbage. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E microtubule, wrong answer. Highest yield thing for you is regarding uh, this is simply your pharmacologic agents that uh, inhibit microtubules, right? So we've got vinblastine, vincristine, we've got griziofulvin, we've got mabendazole, albendazole. Uh, we've got colchicine, okay? They all inhibit microtubules. We have uh, the taxanes, doclotaxel, paclitaxel, that hyperstabilize microtubules, prevent microtubule disassembly. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, lysosome, wrong answer. So, I mean, we could do a 16-minute discussion of all the lysosomal storage diseases, okay? I've made other audio cubane clips on this. I'd say the highest yield one is for Yosemite's eye cell disease. Okay, I've gone through all the biochemistry questions from the NBME exams, and eye cell disease shows up repeatedly. And I mean, even though it's a lysosomal storage disease technically, the defective enzyme in eye cell disease is actually at the Golgi. Okay, so you can't phosphorylate the six position on mannose, can't synthesize mannose six phosphate. That molecule is required at the Golgi to send lysosomal enzymes to the lysosomes. So if you can't do that, the lysosomal enzymes end up in the cytosol, they end up in the extracellular matrix. Lengthy discussion, don't really want to go down that route. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, gap junction, wrong answer. Low yield for USMLA. Okay, I mean, you could be aware that uh, gap junctions are required for electrical synchrony, okay, synchronization in the heart, and that there are proteins composing them called connexins. There is one question on one of the offline NBMEs where they show you an electron micrograph of a gap junction. Absolute garbage, okay? Uh, but you just need to be aware of gap junctions, just that they allow ions to move between cells. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, dynein is correct answer. So this is Cartagener syndrome, primary ciliary dyskinesia. So we've got recurrent sinopulmonary infections, almost sounds like cystic fibrosis in a way, but we have situs inversus, okay? So if you, if you get a vignette and it sounds similar to CF, but then they tell you, I mean, the uh, we've got dextrocardia here, that's not normal. And we've got the liver on the left rather than on the right, okay? So if you get recurrent, uh, pulmonary infections, and they can also, and, and you get situs inversus, that's Cartagena syndrome, primary cellular dyskinesia. They can also tell you that there is infertility, okay, because you get impaired uh, sperm motility from the impaired cilium, okay, so, and also in women, you can get ectopic pregnancy from abnormal beating of the cilia in the fallopian tubes. So, dynein arm defect, okay, dynein, it's a uh, a molecule that's required within uh, the function of cilia, okay? It's just something you have to memorize. It's stupid, but this is what they want you to know. This is past level, okay? It might seem weird when you're first hearing it, but very baseline, very easy. 
Real quick, chloride channel wrong answer, obviously, this refers to cystic fibrosis, okay, CFTR, I mean, osmolar recessive. So I'd say a point you could be aware of is that the defective chloride channel in cystic fibrosis never makes it to the cell membrane, okay? It gets sequestered in the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the cytosol. And they want you to know it's abnormal protein folding, abnormal protein structure, okay? A lot that can be discussed, but you're not going to get dextrocardia in cystic fibrosis. You get meconium ileus. You can get exocrine pancreas insufficiency, all right, with uh, steatorrhea, fat-soluble vitamin malabsorption. Point is, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.